Hi everyone. Well, we've done some travels over the last months. We've been in Switzerland, France, we've been in Germany. We had a fantastic time with Tom up in Yorkshire. But today we are right back at our roots. In fact, this river that we are by today runs right through the valley where we live. And we're in the town of Bargoid and we're visiting the river along the colliery site that was once here. Hopefully we'll find some industrial bits and pieces from those days and I'll share with you some of the history. by having a look along the beach now the sun hasn't even come up properly yet so it's a little bit shaded on the side but hopefully you can see what's going on oh no look at that is that a fossil do you think let's pick it up and see yes look at that can you see the patterning in it i think that's one of the most interesting ones we've come across so far Now I'm pleased because I have found a fossil, Ooh. and not just any fossil, but if you take a look at that, that, that I'm confident is a fossil from well below where we're standing. I'd say half a mile underground, because what we're probably gonna find today is a lot of waste from the mine that was here, because the, there's a mine that was set up here in 1901 they sunk the first shaft they actually started the workshop in 1897 1903 the second shaft went down and they created the largest colliery in the Rumney Valley which in turn broke the world record twice set in one world record at over three and a half thousand tons in 10 hours that was in 1908 and four months later they went 20 tons over the 4,000 tons. And this was before major mechanization. This was men working hard, deep below the ground that we're standing on. But all that work produced the biggest coal tip in the whole of Europe. And that stood right here in the middle of this valley. And it dominated the view of all of our homes and our towns as we lived around this area. So that, is a piece of fossilized slag as we would have called it coal waste that came up the mine with the coal and i hope we find a few more hope you like the history lesson but let's get back to mudlarking before we do i just spotted phil has got his feet on these stones and they're rather large they put here as some sort of support to stop the path falling in the river but can you see this one it's got a man-made hole in it and a bit of a ridge so I think, if I put my hand there, that's the size. I think that must have come from the colliery and it perhaps had something in it. Perhaps a gate, perhaps something that slid, I don't know. But it's an interesting piece of rock. And is this a fossil here? Oh, where my yes, foot actually look. was. That's where I just had my foot and there's a step away there. It's like a giant version of my little fossil. Look at that. And there's another piece here. So sometimes we're looking for all the small things in the river and there are some quite interesting big things along the side on the river bank. Here. Do you think that's the bottom of a ridged pottery jar? That's what I'm going for. Let's have a look. Oh, it's the bottom of a jar, but not a ridged pottery one. Right, keep looking. Don't forget, shout if you see anything. Oh, 
spot there's something white can you see there do you think that is plain or patterned Ooh, patterned a nice bit of blue and white the water is looking a little murky and because the sun isn't on it i can't quite see in some parts so for now we'll stick to the beach right i can see something there can you see it Ooh, let's get closer now it's metal it's a bit of pipe perhaps a joiner whatever you call a joiner on a bit of pipe or oh, just a piece of pipe that's been cut well, there's a piece of pot nothing written on it but quite a large piece or around here quite often in Wales we find the pieces of pottery are quite small I don't know what's that it looks like the top of a banana ah I think it's off a sewer pipe one of the pottery terracotta I think that is yes sewer pipes broken off and just looks like a banana something in the water here Oh, yeah, oh yes. I don't know. Something over there. It, it might be modern, I don't know, but it's definitely covered in plenty of moss. It's been there a little while. Mm, right. It's definitely not normal. Well, it's not natural, I suppose. It's quite heavy, it's big. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Ah, here it comes. Ooh. Now look at that. What do we think that is? It's got a little wobbly handle that's been put on with a bit of wire there. And if we look inside, you can see inside with this. Hmm, that feels quite ceramic. The outside seems metal. That outside's cast, it? What on earth could that be? Any ideas? First, I thought some sort of crucible for melting metal in. If you have any idea, please let us know in the comments because I'm baffled mm. with that one. If you take that wire away, yeah. that would fall out. Yes. So that's been wired in there not to lose it, mm. isn't it? Yes. It belongs with this. So do you think it was some sort of pestle and mortar even? That does look mm. like... But it can't be because it's got that insert. That's been damaged, I think, because it's broken mm -hmm. there. Yep, You're ceramic right. being cracked. It's a ceramic insert that would have been circular in the middle. So assuming that would have filled to the top and had a hole in there so that that would have fitted on something in some way. And this has something to do with it. Mm. Mystery item. See, at first when you pulled it out, I thought it might have been a hydraulic lever handle yeah. off a piece of mining machinery. Yeah. Like I used to repair underground, but as soon as you got it clear, I could see this handle is not connected. Mm. It obviously belongs in there for some reason. There's something for you to work on, folks. What is it? And that's our mystery object of the day, unless we find more. Here's something interesting. Ooh. Well, I think it's interesting. It's, let's, uh, let's have a look first. What? Look. Yeah, there. Now, it doesn't look terribly interesting to me because I have no idea what it is. No, it looks but like a black hose pipe. What is it? It's the sheathing of a cable. Oh, we right. Used to, we had to carry electricity for miles underground, so you had some pretty hefty cables. This cable is not as big as some. We work on cables this size going down to the shafts right. underground. But the interesting thing is, there's no cable in there. Scrap metal boys, they've come, they found the old cables, they've ripped them out. It's probably, I wouldn't mind betting that's meters long yeah. under these rocks. <laughs> and they've sliced it, chopped it, stripped it, and off to the scrap man. Where there's muck, there's money. Well, there's Phil. We've decided to come along. Hello, Phil tour this bit of beach here which looked a little bit more interesting because it's much longer than the last one and we had to climb down these rocks and as we did look what I found it's red and I don't think it's an ancient relic oops somebody's dropped a key ring from Siena it's a bottle opener a corkscrew and a pen knife
No, what have you found? I have no idea, but it certainly caught hmm. my eye. It certainly wasn't normal. No, I would say after our time in Yorkshire, that that could be an industrial roller. I know. It because like storm, so it? But something would have gone in either end, and then it would have turned on there and run a conveyor belt or something moving uh, across the top. Small. Definitely had something either end, as you say. A pin or something went through there, didn't it? Hmm. Hmm, if you know, let us know. Now that looks like a big rusty old piece of drain pipe. What do you reckon? Oh, it's very heavy. I think it's because it's full of silt. Oh no, it's just that heavy. Right, so I think that's probably something from the colliery then, rather than just a piece of drain pipe, because of the weight on it. You put that on the side of your house, the side of your house will probably fall off. Right, I think it's time to get in the water. What do you think? Come on then, pop your wellies on, and in we go. Ooh, can you see all the growth on the rocks? Wiggling around, it's lovely in the sunshine. Can you see something there? We have to go investigate. Now, it could be a bit difficult because this is very slimy underfoot. Try not to fall in. Look at that. Now, that's certainly not a fossil or an ancient relic. Let's see if we can pull it out. Oh, it's very rusty. It's been in the water for quite a while. Oh, poor thing. Hasn't even got a full speed on it. Let's take it out of the water and have a look. So there it is, a shovel or a spade. Oh look here. Now that's just a piece of glass of a screw top glass jar, but that's not what caught my eye. That's what caught my eye. Look at that gorgeous fossil. And that's not on coal slag, that's actually in the rock. That is beautiful. I've seen this, now it's not terribly exciting. It's an old metal shelf bracket, well not even that old. Probably 20, 30 years old. A bit rusty, long past its best. And look here, right below it is today's piece of ridge pottery. I'm intrigued by the industrial past of areas like this. Not just because it's my hometown and I spent all my childhood and my teenage years watching the workings of the colliery from the mountainside, but there's just something, it just holds my imagination as I think of the years that have gone by. But of course, I also appreciate the absolute majesty and beauty of the area now, as nature has taken it back. But there was a beauty even in the industrial times. Even in all of that coal slag and colliery works and belching smoke and the rest. And in this area, that beauty was noticed by a very famous artist. And his name is Lowry. He's better known for his matchstick men and matchstick cats and dogs. But he has done a painting. He drove down from Brista, just above you, where I was born, the village I was born in. And as they turned the corner, he stopped the car and made drawings as he was so inspired by the view down the valley. And he created an incredible painting that's 1.2 meters by 1.5 meters, oil on canvas, and it's called Bargoid. You can look it up, Google it. Lowry, Bargoid, and you'll see this area as it was in those days. It shows the viaduct that we have done a film at ourselves. It shows the terraced houses that grew up in their hundreds and thousands as the colliery opened and so many people moved in the area. It shows the colliery and all of the workings and it shows that big coal tip as well. So, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But today, as the sun has broken out over the top of the mountain, this is a beautiful place and I hope you're enjoying it as much as we are. Hmm, here's a metal pipe. Here's a baldy brick. Nothing written on that one. And there's this pipe. Oh, it's a curvy one. Look at that. Look at the rust on that. Ew. Oh, look. It's a piece of metal. Now, that I would say is some sort of joiner. A pipe went in that end, and this went across another pipe, or 
where it looks like it could have been welded there. Perhaps it was just a welded join. I found a brick. Phil's found a brick. It's a new one. Ooh. What's on your new one? Have a look. Dennis. But I haven't seen that one before. No. I'd remember if I'd had a brick with Dennis on. Uh, yes, I think so. <laughs> so, so there we go. go. I'm chuffed. Wherever you are, Dennis, we found your brick. Oh, there's something big and round there. Can you see something big and round? Let's have a look what that is. Now that seems to be cast iron. I'm guessing some sort of support for a pipe. What do you think, Phil? Ooh, what a lot of sunshine. Let's come round this way a little bit. Possibly, we used to have glass pipes, compressed air. Right. They had a bell end on them, and you put two together. Yep. You'd have something like this, you put a rubber ring that side, rubber ring that side, put it in between the two bell ends, put them on and put a clamp on. Right. And that would join, that would be a joiner for a glass pipe. That's a possibility, it's so rusted I can't be sure. So I can't tell if the groove was there for the, but it's the right size. Now, many of you will be saying, go back, go back, you miss some pottery. I know, I did spot it. Come on, let's go and have a look. Oh, now that is really interesting. It's got art, something there. Opla, so I think that's Bottler. And then Argoid. I think this is from some sort of bottle in factory or plant in Bargoid. What a lovely thing to find, something from Bargoid in Bargoid. Ooh, one of our best finds of the day, maybe even the best. What about my brick? Oh yes, and your brick. And my brick. Now that's not a fossil, that's Phil's boot print. But that's a fossil, look at that. Carboniferous period, I would say. Quite a lot of fossils like that in this area. Ah, there are more fossils from the greater wellied fill. Hello. Hello. Let's keep looking, see if Phil's missed anything. I found this. Oh, what have you found? That's nice, a bit of blue and white stripe. One of the staples of Medlark in his blue and white. It's very flat. It is. I think there's something else down there. Oh yes. Let's have a look. Oh no, that's a piece of, put you in the sunshine, that's a piece of willow pattern plate. Again, blue and white. And this shirt caught my eye. It almost looked like a vertebrae. I don't think it is though. And then we got this, whoops, here, which I think is possibly some sort of industrial waste. It feels quite metallic. So that's what I'm going for. What do you think? Hmm. That's probably, again, the side off something like a ginger beer bottle or a marmalade pot. Usually though they have stripes or something on them so I'm going to go for, let's have a look at the curve on that. Yep, yeah, I'd say the side of a piece of ginger beer bottle. Oh look, is this a fossil or just wear on the stone? I think it could be a fossil. Look at that. Aha, here we have more ridged pottery. And oh, is this plain or patterned? No, oh, I thought that was writing, but it isn't, it's just damage. And what's this? Oh no, that's off something. Not quite sure what. It's such a small fragment. Hmm, a lid of something possibly because something could have snapped off there. I'm not sure. Well, this is quite a long beach because you can see Phil in the distance there. Let me slowly turn around so I don't give you too much motion sickness. 
and we can look all the way down the river. There's some gorgeous trees and scenery up there. And we came from around the bend down there. Right, Phil has found something big and heavy and metal in his woods, so let's go and have a look. Where to? Yeah. Now how far it goes under. Right the way along, is it? To there. Right, are you going to try lifting it? See what I can do. Ooh, look at that. It's got, like, knobbly bits on it. Let's go and have a look at the knobbly bits. There. Some of this off. There's something round there. That's, that's wood. Right. That, that on the top is wood. Just snap for that. And the teeth, are they wood? They're metal. Right, let's go look at the back. That's a plank oh. wood. Look how old that plant of wood is. There's no nails there, which be nailed to something. You can see there the ridges where some of those two have fallen out. What could that be? Down the oh. bottom, there's a lot more there. They seem to go. They thicker there, then they go. We're going along as they go, almost like it's some sort of like and it's hard. Oh, it's a piano. I think it's part of a piano. Oh, could be. Do you think that's where the strings were yes, tuned? Yes, the yes, yes. Strings were wound onto there and tuned up. Well, that's how we found the first part of our new piano. Oh, isn't that nice? But it's going to have to go back into its watery grave. Oh, yes, Because look. there's a lot, a lot, a lot of life on this. It's become a habitat. So I'm going to put it back in exactly oh. as I found it. Is that a close contender for best find? It is. Well done. That's very impressive. I still like my brick. Yes, I know. <laughs> and my new stick. Oh, yes. Have you seen like my new stick, stick, folks? See, shepherd's crook. Look at that. There we go. Man with his stick. And his brick. Well, and his bit of piano. How Give happy us. can life get? It's first thing in the morning. point a big tree has washed down either fallen from up on the sides there or washed down the river and somebody has been along and cut it up there's the sawdust it must have been causing an obstruction in the river probably yes because there is well, a rather lot of rubbish here you can yes, see the rest the of the tree, tree and a Don't lot see. more rubbish what's that Oh, to pull up. Oh, it's one of those. Hmm, interesting shape. I have no idea what it is. Any ideas, Phil? That might not be anything. Hmm. And I know that's some stuff, but the welder may have cut that circle out hmm. for a job. Oh, Say yes. to make a plate to blank off a pipe. Hmm. And this would have been waste the, then. Yeah, because that, that size piece of metal in the in the, in the welding shop you'd keep because you could always use it to cut the plate. But then that would have gone in the scrap because there's nothing you can make from that. So I'd say that's nothing. And see what he's cut through there? He's burned through oh, there yeah. and then around then. And that's a piece of scrap left after they've cut the circle out on the colliery. That's my theory. And again, it's become a habitat. We've got all the encrustation here, so we'll place it back under the water and let the animals carry on their happy life. Ooh, what's that white over there? Have a look. Hmm, now 
but we do find a lot of toilet pans broken up along here so could be a toilet pan who knows I can see something very round over here I have no idea what it is so we don't have it can you see it there see how round that is oh it's a metal it's not a washer is it it's a screwing end hmm. copper I see Stone. It's a squidgy stone. Oh look, it's somebody sheepskin mitten. I wonder if they lost the other one too. I think that's just a bit of stone, isn't it? I don't know. Well, there's a piece of something here. What's this? Oh no, that's copper too. Do you think that's off some sort of switch? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that! That's actually the clasp of something, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Something would go through there, do you think? Possibly, yeah. This seems to have been shaped, doesn't it, so you can get hold of it. Do you think that's copper again? I think that's copper. Yeah, I think so. There's absolutely no rust on it and it's been there a while. See, so you've got that ready colour to it. Mm. Right, do you think you're going to try and get that big lump? Let's have a look, see what it is. Oh, I'm not much use of my grabby thingy. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> but I've got my crook. Stone. Mm, the stone. It does seem to be shaped though. Yes, I say that is definitely shaped. It's rounded. And it's probably a circular hole in. Yeah. In there, and it seems to be chamfered, so possibly water run down it. Could be. If you knock it over the other way, I think there's some edges on as well. No. See, I think that's been chipped out. Now, I'm going to put a wild, crazy guess here. I think that possibly it's very old, and it was originally a proper circle hole. And people use it as a toilet, which they would put onto a little raised area, and then that would go straight into the sewers. So that's my guess. Very cold. It would be very cold. Oh look, a smiley face. It's a smiley happy face. It's a bottle top. Modern. Rubbish, we'll take it home, put it in the bin. Ooh, what's this? No, it looked like it was copper and looked really exciting, but I think it's just part of an old thick tile or something like that. It's getting deep on our wellies and every step we take, it gets a bit deeper. So I think, Ooh. whoop, I nearly fell then. This is the end of the road. If you look up there, see the, the wall in that's starting here? They needed it controlled. It's beautiful to meander, but that wasn't what industry was about. So we've got these huge walls. They, they run throughout this area. And the colliery buildings would have bridged the river. There would have been buildings over the over the river, as well as to the side of the river, and these massive stone walls, almost forming the river into a canal area. Uh, all part of our history, and now part of our heritage. But due to the walls, as Caroline said, look how deep the water gets. So perhaps this is where we should call it a day. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. But whatever you do, come back and join us again soon for our next adventure. Bye!